Hello and welcome to the third episode of Digital Insight with IntelliDivide. In this episode, I would like to show you how you can create material data and use it in IntelliDivide for your individual use case. Let's take a look. So I prepared already a job here that I want to optimize. In this job, you see there's one material missing. And you have seen in the last session that I just was selecting a material from this list. And where is this list coming from? When we have a closer look in IntelliDivide, you see there are not only parts in IntelliDivide, but there's also a boards list. And if we click on boards list, we have here two different setting modes uh, we can use. And the default um, yeah, operation mode is that we are using our material manager. The material manager is also a web-based application to manage all the board material as well as edge bending material. And this is yeah, included in IntelliDivide, this material manager. When we switch here to this application, you see we have here all the inventory of all the boards that are prepared in this subscription. But of course, you can add also your own board type and you can define the own dimensions of the boards you want to use now, maybe for this new job. But this is the whole content of your material you can use now in uh, the material manager. So this is once again, what you get when you click here inside the cell and then you get this list. This is coming from Material Manager. But another possibility, you can also switch now to a custom list. Custom list means this is now an individual list. So you can add here your own material. Um, you can write down now your individual material, but you also can import material maybe from Excel or from any other um, database. So I'm, for instance, I'm just copying now um, this content of this Excel file, this material table, and I'm inserting now this boards here. So the list is now yeah, much longer. And when I'm switching now back to my parts list and I'm going to select once again here my material, you see now the first lines, this is now the new material that I added now yeah, individual for this uh, optimization job. Uh, by the way, um, for all these customers who are using um, storage system from Homark with uh, Woodstore, we are also happy to, uh, to announce that we also can import and synchronize the Woodstore database with uh, Material Manager. So you can also use IntelliDivide in combination now with a storage system. So now the material, everything looks fine. All material codes are known. And then once again, I can run now the optimization. And IntelliDivide is calculating and sorting by material and is creating for us now the cutting, cutting plans. So let's wait a few more seconds because now I want to show you what else um, for information for your material you will get when the uh, result is calculated. Once again, yeah, you see the overview of the cutting plans, but in addition, you see in this view also an, a tab called material. And you, if you click here on this tab, you see now in detail all uh, the material you need for this job. So the, the, the required boards, you see, yeah, you see um, each dimension of each board. You see the demand, how many boards you need for this job. But you see also offcuts uh, which were created. They will be listed here. And you see the edge bending material. If the edge bending uh, or yeah, the edge material was uh, content of the parts list. And then we can summarize all the lengths and then you get um, a total demand, how many etching material you need for this job. 
Then in <coughs> addition, there uh, is a possibility to download the material requirement. So some customers, uh, they want to get this as a um, separate file. Looks like that. And this Excel file can now be sent maybe to the supplier, to, to the board supplier from the customer, and then they can reorder very easily the material for this job. Well, that was it. Everything about material in IntelliDivide. This was the third episode. And next time, you can expect a very important function working with cutting templates. Find out how this works with IntelliDivide in the next episode. Be curious. <laughs>